all right you guys once again the teacher episode five all righty no i felt all damn dead let me get up let me get some energy cracking it through here so i can give y'all a couple of laughs real quick oh you're up i'm sorry i didn't knock i thought i had to wake you it's okay i haven't really slept so might as well get up well might as well get ready you haven't slept are you sick I don't know. I don't feel so good. You can you describe what you what you mean with not so good? I have a lump in my throat, and it feels like I want to cry. I also have a headache and a stomachache. Oh, Kylie, it sounds like you're a bit depressed. <sighs> Do you miss your mom? Yeah completely normal and understandable it is your first day without her after all I don't feel like going to school today Mia you don't feel like going to school today hmm yo nosy ass she got nosy as hell child why you listening to my damn conversation with your nosy ass anyhow you know, when I lost my mother, my dad told me the thing that helped me the most was being with Kelly. Who's Kelly? She's my best friend. We've been best. We, we've been best. We've been friends for many, many years. So well, not that many, but you ain't that old, girl. <laughs> she helped me take my mind off of things and reminded me that. She was there for me. I'm sure she's a sweet... I'm sure a sweet girl like you has lots of friends, right? Well, I guess... I also have a best friend, actually. Oh, really? What's her name? Michelle. Don't you think Michelle will miss you if you don't go to school today? Hmm. I guess so. Don't you think she'll be good to talk to? She's probably funny too, right? Yeah, she's really funny. One time she made me laugh so hard that milk came out of my nose. <laughs> ha ha. <laughs> I'll try that too. I tried to find an outfit that would make me look like I was a French that make me look like a French maid. I know you would appreciate it. Mm. Well, it definitely looks good on you, Cassie. No doubt about that. Mm. You know what? Well, you know it looks even better on what it looks even better on. Tell me, the floor, girl. Um, that's nasty as hell, girl. I couldn't agree more. They were both being unprofessional and inappropriate. Why don't you take a seat and I'll find you some cereal. I didn't think it would be necessary for me to ask you to be professional. Cassie. Oh, relax. It's just an adult joke, Mia. You're such a nun. Amused, are we, Mr. Collins? Um, no, you're right. We should all be professional, Miss Ross. Miss Candace? Way to go, Mia. You just uh, clam jammed me? What the fuck is that? Are you serious? You're here to clean up, not hook up with the boss. Who I hook up with is none of your business. Though I can't understand why you're mad. You're just a jealous virgin. Note, if you previously made the right choice with Cassie, you can have an option to put her in her place. Let's find out if you made the right choice. 
Unfortunately, you didn't make the right choice. Cassie will now stump all over you. The fuck what choice? Bitch, I just walked in the kitchen. For your information, I'm not a virgin. Well, you're not exactly experienced either, are you? Do you even know how to please a man? That's none of your business. Why don't you let the adults take uh, talk next time, honey? Go and change a diaper or something. Girl. Okay, girl. Let that bitch talk to you crazy if you like to, child. I ain't for the shit. I don't like Cassie that much, Mia. Honestly, I don't either, Kylie. <laughs> hmm. Do you like my brother? I don't dislike him. That's for sure. But I don't know him well enough to make a proper judgment of him yet. I think he likes Cassie. Why do guys always go for blonde girls? I don't think they do intentionally. But I once read that it's because men associate blonde hair with youth. <laughs> but the saying that blondes have more fun is definitely not true. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. Chin up, smile, have a good day, make sure to find my shout and laugh a lot, okay? <clears throat> okay, I will see you later, Mia. Um, see you at home. Call me if you need anything. I will. Bye. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta go, Amanda. The new teacher I told you about is here. Mm-hmm. I'll call you later. Mr. Collins, how can I help you? I trust you found your way. All right. Or around or some shit. I don't know. Very much so, Principal Cho. <laughs> Call me Sarah. Okay, Sarah. <clears throat> I just wanted to tell you something. I wouldn't want you to hear it from someone else. Gorgeous. Oh, uh, I mean, shoot. You know the reason why I moved to town, right? Yes. Well, before my mom left for Singapore, she hired a nanny for my little sister, Kylie. Yes. Well, it turned out. My mother had hired one of my students, Mia Rose, is her name. And you felt the need to tell me this. Why exactly? Because I'm living with her. She lives at my mother's mansion with me and Kylie. Lives with you? Her teacher? That's a bit... I know, that's why I need needed to tell you. I know it sounds weird, but I promise you... I'm being as professional as I can around her, even back home. I appreciate you telling me, Mr. Collins, but you need to be careful. The press will kill for a story like this, and they could easily make people believe that something more is going on. And you know that um could be that could reflect badly on both of us. So don't let that happen. Mm, I know I'll be careful. Good. That was all I thought I should I thought you should know. Got it. Now go teach your heart out, Mr. Collins. Oh, um sure, thank you. I know I need to keep my distance from her, but I owe her an apology. Um, listen, Miss Rose, I'm sorry I was a jerk to you at the airport. I I don't know why I said that. Because you're an, an assumptious jerk. I guess I'm <laughs> just an assumptious jerk. Okay, girl. Agree with him. Well, I agree. You are being a drink to me. But it was a stressful day. I'm glad you took it out on me instead of Kylie. I shouldn't have taken it out on any of you. And I apologize for that. I know I can be a bit moody sometimes. And I'm really sorry about your mother. God... I was a jerk. I forgive you. 
do I really do I really though not really there's no way around this we have to get along for Kylie I agree I'll try to make it easy for you to like me as I can make it as easy well how about giving me an A plus on our next math test it'll definitely help you on your on the way <laughs> I don't think you need me to get you that Miss Rose how about I take you and Kylie out to do something fun this weekend would that help take me out oh my lord i think kylie could use some cheering up what do you think i actually think that that's a good a great idea mr collins what got a headache not your up. let's talk about it later you can help me decide where to go i was actually thinking about central park but feel free to bring your own ideas to the table okay see you in class okay see you in class mr collins Maybe he's not so bad after all. Girl lies. I still don't like his ass. We're trying to talk shit. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I can't go back. I don't know what it said, but it was there long enough for y'all to read it. <laughs> Kelly, I'm trying to read here. Miss Rose, I would appreciate it if you didn't talk to Miss Montro. Wow, I'm trying to explain something important. Mr. Collins, I wasn't at one strike, Miss Rose. Strike two in his detention. Sorry. So anyway, so Nick was started telling me about this new girl. Oh my God. Nick was telling her about a new girl that he was trying to talk to, I guess. I don't know. Kelly, be quiet. You're going to get us both de detention, Miss Rose. After school with me. Um, I'll save Kelly's stinking ass. Don't say my name, please. I have to drop my parents off at the airport. Fine, but you did this and you seriously owe me one. I know. Me and my big mouth. I'm sorry. Mr. Collins apparently takes his job very seriously. He called Kylie after giving me detention to tell her I wouldn't be home until 4 p.m. I guess the fact that I was supposed to be home with Kylie and look after her wasn't enough to stop him from doing his job. Even though Kelly was the one to blame for this mess. It was only me and one other guy who was sitting down in the corner of the room sleeping across his table. <laughs> Mr. Collins didn't bother waking him up anymore after countless tries. Resulting in the guy just falling right back asleep again. I guess I know the reason why he got detention in the first place. Believe me, I've tried to focus on getting ahead on some homework. But look at him. Will you just look at him? Look at his ass, girl. His face looked like it was crafted by angels and his body by Michelangelo himself. That What was our principal thinking when she hired him? Oh, wait. I just realized the answer as I said that. She's a woman, that's why. That's okay, Principal Cho. I get ya. <laughs> How can you say no to those puppy eyes? Do you need help with anything, Miss Rose? Oh, shit. He caught me staring. <laughs> I could see he was holding back a smile. Okay, girl. God damn. Y'all are stressing me out. Like he was pretending he didn't see me, only him. Just now, I know he did. He wet his lips while running his hand through his golden brown hair, mm -mm 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 -mm. waiting for my answer. 
this guy definitely knows how attractive he is. Um, no, I'm good. Thanks. Mm. All right. I must admit, I was a bit confused about Mr. Collins giving me detention for this. Maybe he felt like proving how serious he is with his job to me because I live with him. Maybe it's his way of telling me to stop dreaming, daydreaming about him. I don't know. Mm. When I was finally done, um, serving detention time, I, I quickly returned to my new home. Where I knew Mr. Collins would arrive shortly after me. Cotty's at Michelle's place and she'll be there until tonight. Oh. So now it's just me and Cassie until girl uh, Daryl gets home. <laughs> Lucky me, huh? She's not so bad. I guess I'm not surprised to hear you say that. <laughs> you are the devil on my shoulder after all. Um, it's your job to like evil people. <laughs> Mia. Cassie. So, we need to talk. For the last time, Cassie, I'm not interested in Mr. Collins. If that's true, you wouldn't mind helping me get him, would you? Mm, why would I help you, girl? You've you've not exactly been nice to me, Cassie. Well, because we're going to spend a lot of time together. Is that seriously your reason? We're going to spend a lot of time together, and you don't want me as your enemy. Are you actually threatening me, girl? Of course not, honey. I'm just stating facts. <laughs> me, girl. They don't cuss this bitch out. Forget it now. Get out of my way. I need to get dinner started. Okay, okay, fine. Wait. Mm hmm. How about I owe you one? Seriously, I'll promise to be there when you need me. I don't know if I should trust her. Be reluctant, honey. Okay. Maybe I'll help you. I need to hear what you want me to do before I agree to anything. So it's understandable. Um, okay. Here's what I need you to do for me. And that is the end of that baby doll. Okay, y'all. Um, it's borderline boring, but you know. You guys get the drift. And I think that's my last episode I'm posting for tonight, y'all. Or maybe not. I don't know. Probably, though. Alrighty. Until next time, lovers.